I was going to do this in another week, but I thought it would be fun to just take you around the garden because I'm just so happy with it. So, here's a quick tour of the garden. As you can see, everything is getting bigger. Uh, I can also see there's interesting weather coming, so it may not look so good after the weather. Uh, so, a little bit of brush there, and I'll tell you why. Took a tree out. Uh, the tree was dying, so I don't feel bad about it, and it really shaded the garden, so yeah, I think it was a win overall. I do have its replacement. I just have to plant it. Here's the strawberries. They're starting to spread finally. That I, that rabbit has disappeared. Oh, and you caught me not weeding. So I see a few weeds there I missed. But see, they're spreading. I think I'm close to harvesting potatoes. Uh, the peas are basically done. There's a couple on there, but not much. They're done. But that's okay. I've got corn there, which is starting to tassel. Uh, but the tomatoes are just starting. I had a little bit of blossom end rot on a few, but overall they seem to be doing well. See, there's a couple that are going. I think in another day or two I'll be harvesting. Uh, they're not, I didn't feel any blossom end rot on them. There's another one. Uh, by the way, if you're curious about blossom end rot, here's one that I took, oops, and I threw them into the grass. So here's one. This guy has blossom end rot. Let's see if I can get it in focus. Uh, what happens is they don't have enough uh, calcium sometimes, so then they can't form cell walls. Oh, there's one on the vine with blossom end rot, and you can see it more clearly. Uh, so I put calcium into the soil, I thought, but obviously not well enough. So what I do if you have blossom end rot is I just pull them so the plant doesn't waste the calcium on them, and it makes per you know, it's perfectly good compost. It's a little sloppy. If this was the front garden, I'd probably take them out back, but, you know. There's some lettuce. Kind of recovered. I had guests. <laughs> we like vegetables. Uh, these tomatoes, look at them. They're like grapes. Not ripe yet, but cool anyway. Uh, this was second attempt to plant spinach. A few came up, but almost nothing. I just don't... Not a good year for spinach, I guess. Uh, this tomato plant's doing very well. I've been eating a lot of them. Yes, those are ripe. These are actually kind of an orange tomato. Uh, lots of carrots. If you dig down, they actually look pretty good. Onions, I can start harvesting. Well, I'll leave them if I'm not using them, though. Again, the peas are basically done. I had some wind. Uh, it kind of knocked everything over to the side. Strong wind, like... 40 mile an hour wind with 60 mile an hour gusts. It's North Dakota after all. Kohlrabi, I think a few of them will be ready soon. And I broke off, a lot, well the wind broke off a lot of the west side leaves. So that's why these zucchini look so ragged. Uh, I don't, it's too late in the day for any blossoms to be open, but they have amazing blossoms. Uh, but you can see, maybe, yeah, there's one. Let's see if I can get him. There's a few zucchini hiding under here. Here's another one. I'll be making a zucchini hot dish for church tomorrow. Uh, I have a few baby cantaloupe going, finally. I was starting to wonder if I'd ever get anything off of these cantaloupe. <clears throat> uh, my Mexican sunflowers are just beginning to blossom. See, he's not open yet, but here's the only one right now that is fully open. Yeah, so bright and pretty. Try that again. There we go. So I can't wait till they're all going. And the broccoli, I think the moths have started to dis discover them, so it's getting more holes. But I'm able to, I pick off like, let's see, I probably did it all this morning when I watered. Here's, here's a little one. I pick off the florets. Whoops, I missed and eat them. And uh, I've gotten a few big heads off of these. There's, let's see here. That was a head that looked like it was from the store. But for the most part, growing them at home, I just pick off the florets and it's perhaps good. And more potatoes. And rhubarb is looking kind of sad at this point. Uh, lemon basil. Parsley is flowering. Lemongrass, which I don't know what to do with it yet. Now we'll go around to the front. Uh, composter. I do need to do a 
review about that. A few things I'm not liking is that it's so dry here, I actually have to put water in it, which I didn't think you would have to, but it does speed things up. Uh, these Chinese lantern plants, I think I'm going to um, uproot a few here in another month or so, put them in a pot because nothing's going to happen. It's too late in the year. Hollyhocks are almost done. They were impressive. Impatience, I heard that they actually have a disease this year, and that's why I'm having such a failure. And yesterday, something dug up all this my grass clippings. I don't know what it was. <clears throat> but here's the big star. There's a guy who got hit by a 60 mile an hour gust, I think. Uh, but these are Russian mammoth sunflowers, so they shouldn't start work until later. Lots of cucumbers. I picked a bunch this morning and then found two more. Oh, and I see another one. I'll show you when we get to the other side. So I'm still missing them. These are another type of squash. These are summer squash. They're not ready yet. I'm thinking another week maybe. More sunflowers. Lots and lots of peppers. And these guys, I'm trying to figure these guys out. I, I need to find the tag for them. They're kind of dark. I wonder if they're the chocolate peppers. I guess my mental picture was different. Oh, look. Oh, yeah. Now let's see if I can get stung. Look at the little fella. A little bee. I love bees. That's something I would love to do is just have a little hive in my backyard, but I don't think a lot of people would take that real well. So I'm not much of a flower person, but some marigolds. Beets. Some of these are probably ready for harvesting. There's... Oh, there's two. How did I miss them? They're just like right out there in the open. Two cucumbers. Three. Holy cow. Well, I'll be eating a lot of cucumbers tonight and some zucchini. Uh, I have peppers. Beans are slowing down now. I fed my family way too many beans while they visited. Uh, let's see. Peppers. More peppers. They're in there. They're just kind of green. I'm not seeing them with this iPad. Here's couple really big ones. There, there he is. I need to learn to navigate when I'm using the iPad. I'm having stuffed green peppers for lunch one day this week. More marigolds. More beets. Uh, th some of these beets might get pulled for supper tonight. And then I have Swiss chard behind them. That'll be kind of a replacement. And my eggplant. Now I'm going to go over there and give you a close-up. I ate an eggplant already, but here is a little fella just getting started. Oops, I missed. There we go. Just getting started. And they have sharp little spines. See them? There, that's another one getting started. He's got a swollen base, and then he'll start producing an eggplant. Now here is a flower, better picture of the flower. In fact, I'm going to have to photograph this guy. There we go. Such a pretty flower. But anyway, that's my garden. Uh, one little thing I'm just going to mention, thanks to Mama Squirrel. Right here, she mixed a whole bunch of peat moss and topsoil, or not topsoil, potting soil into this thing while she was visiting, and uh, so I might be able to grow stuff now. Nothing came up, but I'm going to put in maybe some green onions or lettuce or something that doesn't need much time. So, oh, the lighting's kind of bad out here, but, oops, but I hope that was interesting, and we'll see you later.